I'm watching the, uh, oh, watching the Cowboys game. Um, I always like the Chargers as an underdog. They're kind of sucking tonight, but I'm watching the game and it's so beautiful. The yellow and the blue and the, the green grass, the red for the markers for a first down. I'm, I'm looking at my picture and I'm just, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's so sad because I'm, I'm going to have to send a projector in. I mean, it's, it's different when you're having connection problem or, or, or weird kind of problem. But now whenever I turn it on, I have a split screen and I have to swap my HDMIs. And then yesterday, um, my remote control, it would not answer my remote control. The screen was all jumping around and it wouldn't answer my remote control. I don't know if it's the new update. I, I don't know what happened, but it's significantly worse in every aspect after the fucking software update. Kind of like an iPhone. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to do. I am going to return this for to either be repaired or replaced, and then that will be it. That will be it. Um, if I get another turd, I swear I, I will. I'll bury these guys online. Okay, I have. We have not taken this to the commercial page yet, where we have millions of subscribers. Because uh, I bought this is my personal thing, and you know I, I talk about it on my personal page, and I've got about twenty five people that are watching my videos because they also own AWOL projectors. And I've had a few of them email me and tell me, yep, yeah, I'm having issues and problems too. When I called the company, they were straight up with me and said, yep, yeah, we're having some issues with certain devices. And I understand all that, but when the remote control and the projector are no longer talking or when I turn it on and I'm on home and I have a split screen, we're not talking about using any device. We're just talking about turning the projector on and having it go home and have it have a split screen where the bottom half is all green and the top half is a distorted picture. Which That's what happens with my 3D, by the way. Um, it will never go to frame packing. I have to switch over and then back to frame packing like I do here where I have to go to HDMI 2 and back to HDMI 1. I've gotten used to doing that, hoping they'll have a software fix. But when the remote, when it comes on on the home page and it's all fucked up and when the remote will not make any changes, I can't go switch HDMI, can't do anything but turn it off and turn it back on. Yeah, that's that's a different problem altogether. I will give them an opportunity to swap out this projector one more time because it looks so beautiful. I, I It will be a sad day because this is what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna get a refund and I'm gonna buy a TV and I'm gonna put it behind my Vision, vision storm screen. I'll just lower my screen. I'll put my TV back where I had it and I will use that for the next few years until AWOL vision gets their shit together and I'll go back to AWOL again because it's going to be a tri-laser projector no matter what I do and it's got to have 3D no matter what I do and it's got to look as good as this TV looks, you know, period. Kind of sad. Um... Uh... You know, all the research and everything I did, I never saw any issues or problems like that with the AWOL. It seems like as time has gone on, it's gotten worse, not better. And the Dolby update just trashed my projector. The Dolby update trashed my AWOL, okay? I gotta say that. Dolby, as far as I'm concerned, is, is the bane of the fucking entertainment industry. It has caused nothing but issues and problems across, across hundreds of devices, okay? And then they keep changing it and changing it and changing it. And it's all bullshit. The, the whole fucking Dolby Atmos, listen, don't waste your time on a Dolby Atmos system. Don't, okay? Five by one, five by two, that's all you need. That's all you need, okay? Surround left, surround right, surround front, left, right, Center speaker, that's all you need. I have two powered bases on top of that. That's all you need, okay? And you'll have a wonderful experience. As soon as you go to 11 fucking speakers and shit with Dolby Atmos or nine, um, you get nothing. They're, they're, it's, it's a waste. Unless you want to hear a slight sound of a wind blowing every now and again, or maybe a bird every great now and again that's back over there somewhere, that's it. 
that is it. There's no other enhancement to your movie viewing pleasure or experience, okay? It is a total fucking waste of time. So, I, yeah, yeah. I got so much going on this week. Cardiologist tomorrow, MRI scans. So, but I'll probably wait until Monday, but we went up and got the box down. So it's going back. It's going back. Yeah. Um, but we'll just probably wait till Monday to do it. It's a good thing that we're dealing with AWOL. Some companies I wouldn't trust, but AWOL Vision, 100%. Okay, especially Steve. Steve works at AWOL. And besides having an awesome hairdo, <laughs> uh, he has made every effort to keep me a happy company, uh, a happy customer, okay? And, and he's a good representative for the company, all right? So, but I mean, I mean, shit happens. He can't, it's not his fault. I probably just got a bad projector. The first one with all the bad interference patterns, right? They immediately overnighted me a new box. And this one now only has problems with my DirecTV. And every now and again, every now and again, my Roku. So, and I was willing to put up with that. I really was, okay? Until the Dolby update made things worse. And now the whole non-cooperative between the remote, just not acceptable. 